So originally, we had only planned to do two uh, videos, but we got carried away and this is a lot of fun. So we're gonna do our third um, technique with teacher Michael Jefferson. And he is going to explain a technique for, another technique for point sparring, but sparring point sparring, you can adapt it to anything. Like you can take it into MMA, if you can take it into Muay Thai, it, as long as you just take into account just the differences of rule sets. So, um, yeah, take it away. All right, so um, in general, what happens is um, there are two kind of uh, arching kicks that are thrown, uh, that, that are utilized a lot more than other kicks. Front kicks definitely used a lot, especially I've, I've noticed in, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, the teeth? The teeth, yes. Teeth, yes. right? That, that looks like a front kick for me, right? Yeah, so I'm like, yeah. she goes right, right to the chin, right to the body, push it back, uh, right to the middle of the chest. Um, they're very direct kicks, and that one mimics more of a side kick for me, right? right. So um, I don't use a front kick as much, but I do utilize that side kick like we did in the other second. Okay. So um, when the kick is coming straight like that, what happens is I like to look at, uh, and this is something I've definitely been taught, none, none of this information is from me. I had a lot of teachers, Master Fromm, uh, all of my brothers, Joshua May, Lee Andre Bruner, Robert Cotton, all of these guys, uh, Kyle Richards, they've taught me how to how to uh, perform the technique in this way. They've taken what their instructors have given them and modified it, and it, and it just keeps going. It keeps evolving. So, um, um, what they what they usually do is they'll throw a straight side. So, if I see a person throwing a straight side, imagine like towards my hip or something like that, right? That kick is I imagine that as a bus coming straight at me. Okay. If you suddenly woke up and a bus was coming at you, just start running up and go. The only way you can do, the only way to get out the way is to either go left. My kicks are so much worse than his. You guys see that awfulness? All right, sorry. <laughs> it's this guy. Don't listen. <laughs> anyway, so you're, uh, yeah, you can go left or right. So what I do a lot of times is, um, there's many different techniques you can do. One that I like to do a lot is I'll chant it. So because I know it's going straight, if he comes forward, I step into it there. Even if it hits me, because of the power, because I'm taking away his, uh, most of the power comes from at the end of your kick. There's not a lot here. So if I can step into that, you're not gonna be able to really push me off unless you train on slow kicks, right? Gotcha. Then those guys can really push you off. Oh, just, just to be clear, we are actually going over, instead of going over the pure technique, we're going over how to defend yourself from these techniques. That is so well. this is this is a defense-based video. So, yeah. so uh, moving from there, right? The person will be throwing that, uh, that side kick. I can go around that way. I can move his leg, so if your leg is coming towards me, right? I can grab that and move it that way. And then I can strike him there. Because it turns their body, you can strike him in that position. I could also step this way, go. Use it as my safety, right? Not use my arm at all, just use my shoulder and back leg, go. Just step right in there. And so that's how I get around the side kick, right? You can go in the back side, you can go on the front side. It's easy if you look at the degrees that are coming here. Roundhouse kicks are different for me. Roundhouse kicks, uh, switch your legs. Uh, lifting up your lean, throwing a round oh, kick. This is gonna be slow. It's bad. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, it should be slow. Yeah. Yeah. Is that fine right there? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, just yeah, just lift. You don't even have to kick. Okay. So if you imagine a round kick, right? It starts there. It's gonna come out this way. If I can get to the other side of the tip of his leg, you can drop that down now. If I can get here, I'm safe. That's all. That's all I wanted to oh. explain with that one. So okay. as soon as a person starts to even lift, and I see this about to be around, I step right over here. Simple as that. And I you just punch me in the face. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and you can do it on the way. A lot of times people get over there, and then now I'm in danger because you can strike me too. Okay. But if you're thinking about kicking, well, while you're thinking about kicking, I'm already oh, stepping down. Oh. All right. Right? That, that's a uh, sport oh, karate okay. technique that's used by the best of them. Okay. Right? Daniels, Russell Bean, all those guys, they like to jack cut. They like to utilize um, the step in where they notice that that leg, they notice that that knee is tucked in tight, and they'll step, and they'll see this angle and step straight right to right you. Gotcha. And as he just drops him, you, as you just mentioned, Raymond Daniels, one of the more famous guys from point sparring, who's transitioned to full contact, like kickboxing, if you don't know, he fights for Bellator right now, killing it. One of the best, most entertaining fighters they have, hands down. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, and I will cut this out of the video if I am wrong. <laughs> Did you, didn't you train with uh, Northcutt for a while? Uh, trained with uh, Mark, Raymond Daniels or Northcutt? No, you, I thought North. Both of them. Both um, of them. But, oh. well, uh, as far as training, so what happened was, um, <laughs> um, you know, um, he gave me an awesome opportunity where uh, his son was looking for a team to build a team around okay. junior team, team sparring. And, um, you know, great guy. He ended up, um, you know, helping me, uh, paying for my flight and things like that. And I was sponsored to go out to Guatemala and do some fights and stuff. So when Sage was uh, really young, this is back when, this is eight pack Sage. When Sage was young, I'm talking about like eight, nine years old. This guy used to lift up his shirt and show the ladies. He <laughs> had just ripped abs. Everybody was just like, how? Like, and so he was just this superstar in the, in the karate world. 
Um, later on down the line, you know, you see the connection between, you know, his big sister and, and Raymond Daniels, uh, you know, getting married and everything, their families merging and, you know, getting on the uh, same team and everything. Stop. I didn't know any of that. Oh, so, really? I don't, that's I don't a lesson. Was, I don't that's know a lesson. I had playing, no idea though. that they... Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, but maybe we shouldn't put that out there because I don't know. I don't know if that's public. Media. I will... on Facebook Instagram. Oh, well, if it's on Facebook and Instagram, it's public enough. Um, I will del I will check. And hey, RD, is hey, if that's too much, <laughs> yeah. I apologize, brother. I thought that that was cool. I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't be denying his wife. She's a beautiful woman. Oh, okay. yeah. Has, <laughs> I, I will make sure about. it's out on social media before I yeah. post it's, it. Yes, sir. It's All right. Yes, sir. It's okay. Yeah, 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 those guys, uh, they do a lot of traveling, do a lot of. Okay. This is their life. You yeah. I mean, if you look yeah. at uh, since they've been kids, uh, Raymond as well, since they've all been kids, it's, they've made this their, um, their goal and vision for everything. I haven't seen him get out of this and do anything else. That's yeah. just what they do. So, um, you know, that dedication is amazing. I think that anybody within the martial arts who are, are who see it and love it like that, they should put that same kind of effort into it. You know? okay. It's going to pay off. They're going to end up being better than those guys one day. That's what they would hope for. And that's their biggest thing. They're always trying to expand the art. They're looking for ways to open up what we do in the sport variety world and kind of find other opportunities. So when Raymond stepped out there into the Bellator world and and people before him, you know, he, he didn't pave the way in that way. Other people, he, he'll tell you that other people paved the way for him to get out there, other kickboxers, other point fighters. And, um, you know, he just definitely taking it to another level when it comes to the knockouts. You know, yeah. like, oh, you know, <laughs> yeah, he's doing some unprecedented stuff right now. Man. <laughs> and, um, and it's funny because when you when you talk to the sport variety guys, they're like, yeah, that doesn't, that, we've seen more impressive stuff in the sport yeah. variety stuff. If you really watch the video, it's like he's done way more insane things. Uh, not on the knockout level. Okay. Yeah. It, just, it just, when it comes to, the ability of a martial artist. Um, we know when is it time to and when is it not time to apply power. And I think that's the part that might be lost when it comes to people kind of taking arts from places and not solidifying themselves within arts and really understanding and growing and, and, and developing themselves is um, they don't understand it. Like, you, you get power is great, but there's a power in not using power, right? There's a power in knowing that you can get in the ring with Raymond Daniels and if he chooses to, he doesn't have to knock you out. And that's not an ego thing on it. Even if you punch him right in the face, they'd be like, that was a good shot. I'm about to smack you right back in the face. <laughs> but if this is a full contact fight, I'm knocking you out, right? Yeah. But if this is a point fighting fight, I could or could not. I, why Why would I need to? Like, you know what I mean? And so we, we kind of, when it comes to that world and that transition, I think that that's important to mention. Um, as far as his ability, I, I, I respect the guys who have that kind of power. And they know when and why they're using it, as opposed to um, abusing that and saying that, well, the whole goal is just to knock everybody out, as opposed to, the whole goal is to, is to finesse my techniques when it comes to the more point fighting arts, right? right. And then when I when I'm getting into more of a kickboxing art, boxing art, it's like I want I want my technique to be more superior as far as it's uh is brutality. You know what I mean? I, I plan on breaking your face, um, and that's okay to me. That makes sense in that arena, as opposed to when you're transitioning it to other arenas. And um, yeah, those guys have that great they have that skill just on point. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yes, sir. Learned some new information on, on this whole thing. Oh, yeah. It's good to see the view. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I kind of cut you off, though, in the middle of, like, as we were going over how to defend it. Was there anything else you wanted to show? You know what? That was pretty much it. That's uh, pretty much it? I, I just, um, it, just to break it down, if you want to just kind of... Yeah, just one more time, one more time. It's, um, for me, sidekicks are straight. So what I'll try to do is I'll go that way. Or I'll go in this direction. That just, it just it's, it's just frightening yeah, how, yeah. how you're right in my face at right. me. And that's the goal of it. You want to try to, um, if you see a technique is coming at you, you don't want to go way over here. Yeah. Because when I try to come back and attack, you can readjust and hit me. Gotcha. I want to try to get, if the attack is coming here, I want to go right around, boom. Gotcha. Whatever I have to do. So if your leg is coming out, if, if, I'm, if I see that your foot is about, my instructor just said this in class, like literally last night. Gotcha. Um, if your foot is about, how, what size is your shoe? Uh, ten and a half. Ten and a half. I have ten and a half inches to get out the way. And that's uh, where I'm trying to be. I don't want to go 11, 12, 13 because that's 11, that's two, one, two, three, four, five more uh, inches of space between the two of us, which means you can strike me. I don't want any of that. I want it to be, if I'm going to be, it's, it's already great to be here. I'm going to feel good. But I'm vulnerable if I step here and don't do anything. Aye. So I have to have it in my mind already what strike I'm going to be doing. So Aye. if I'm on the street, and I'm like, look, man, don't do it. If somebody wants to do a karate kick for some weird reason, and that <laughs> happens and I come through, uh, oh, wow. right? I'll step right through. Yes. Oh, try to end it right there. With oh, for you MMA guys, yeah, that's for you. I haven't <laughs> seen that one yet. Hey, hey, MMA, I have not seen that one 
on a circuit with somebody <laughs> cut out the way, devastated him yeah. and just walked away. So, I like that. That would be amazing. Uh, okay. You know, what, the challenge, hashtag, uh, Elbow challenge. Hashtag elbow. <laughs> there we go. We just started that one right there. And then the other one, of course, the round kick is um, understanding just if you look at a circle. If look, I think about this uh, in a geometric kind of way, right? The loop comes here, and then the round has a has a tip. To it. Wherever that tip is, everything after that is free game. So uh, anytime somebody's throwing like a round kick, I don't step over here. I'll run right into that. Before. I want to step in this direction, and I can step with my back leg over here. Or what I like to do mostly is I'll step straight up at an angle. Ah, they start to throw that. I'll step here. That's, so that's interesting. Like if you have, like especially because I like, you know, know when someone's really throwing a kick, you get scared. You just want to go away. All right. And with that round kick, it almost because of the direction you, you're moving, it's coming here and you're moving away from it, but you're still so kind of close. But you, yeah. When you understand where the power ends, yes. And you're you're just right and there. Right, right. Because that's the scary thing about it is that you're thinking that the round kick goes all the way around. Yeah. And now if it's a spinning kick or something like that, if they're throwing it like in a way where like with the back you're, leg, yeah, you're just kind yeah. of coming all the way through, then that's something I you know you might want to uh, uh, modify this a little bit. Yeah. Or once you step over, just get in because they can't continue. Even yeah. Like imagine you do like a Muay Thai or a Muay Thai type thing. You I, still can. Too late. You still can. By the time you even start, I'm already. Yeah. Struck it and the thing is, that takes so much time to throw a back leg kick, and, and that's the thing, that's the reason, reason why uh, sport karate artists, they utilize the front leg more. Yeah. It's just like a jab, right? Yeah. I can shoot my legs, it just comes up quick. But if I'm, <laughs> if I'm utilizing uh, my movement and I'm noticing that that back leg, it takes a while to even get that up. Yeah. And that's why the back leg is great for you sport karate guys. Start using that, my instructor is a master, that master Ernest from. he throws back leg rounds all day. And no one knows they're coming because they're not. They're used to this front leg all the time. And they're not bad. So when, when, if you can throw it fast enough, you can slip that up, and you can not turn it all the way over here. Yeah. You can kind of cut it more straight. You kind of come out of the boom, boom. Oh, that's going to come much faster, and the person won't be ready for it in the sport karate world. But everybody else is looking for these back leg kicks, but they like to go back. Yeah, even right? even in Muay Thai, one of our means right. lean back is one of our slips. Okay. And I don't like because the thing is when. Once you lean back, where do you go after? Uh, you can't go back again, right? No, that's <laughs> You got to come back forward. So they'll pick up that on purpose. Woo, and then I mean, right, and come yeah. follow, right? Or if you look yeah. out, uh, again, Raymond Daniels, how he did that little jump. The two, turns, two touch thing. 360. Yeah. Which I went and learned after that, by the way. You learned that technique. Like, I went to the gym. Yeah. I was like, listen, I'm going to figure this out. Just, uh, so, <laughs> but again, fun. I mean, if you think about it, I don't I mean, if you ask him too, I think in the interview, he, um, he said, I, I didn't plan on not throwing the kick. I usually throw a kick there. Yeah. But I noticed that he didn't have any space backwards. So, that was the time. Oh, no, you're talking about the... Yeah, I'm talking about the 360 The 360 knockout. Fake, the, yeah. yeah, yeah, that. Okay, I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking the other one. What were you thinking of? Where, where he was, it was in boy, kickboxing where he jumped up the guy's leg and like spun the kick from the Oh, field. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're talking about kick. the... He spun twice for that one. I don't even know what the official yeah, was, name for that technique yeah, that, is. That's, like, that's the Raymond Daniels. Yeah, it's the Raymond that's, Daniels, yeah. That's his thing. But I mean, I'm just thinking about the mentality of usually when you spin around like that, you're about to throw a round or an axe or you're doing some kind of kick. Yeah. And the fact that he changed that into a punch, the fact that he, it was all based on his distance and what he saw, he made that modification split second. And that's something that comes from the sport variety. Because it's so fast, you got to be able to figure out, okay, I'm here. The person's coming. I got to cut. I got to cut. All right. And you got to be the first one. It's a game of tag. So if you're really good at analyzing how to knock hit and hit, then you translate that into the MMA world and techniques are coming out of nowhere. Uh, those back legs, and then uh, if you look at Michael Page as well, uh, great guy as well. Another phenomenal knockout, uh, yeah. crazy person. And just unorthodox as far as his movements and yeah. things like that. But again, that's unorthodox to the mainstream world for the sport karate guys. It's pretty normal to kind of see that kind of movement and those kind of readjustments. And and um, and they're, they're just seeing it on a different level. And as soon as people pick up on what that is, it's going to be pretty hard for those guys to win as much. Because they're going to be able to know how to defend against that. They're going to have the same repertoire. But at this moment, not a lot of people know this technique. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming boom. out. Thank boom. you for showing us. Boom. Bam, boom, boom. Ready to know. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Edit that. Edit that one. Yeah.